This might be the best mower of 2024. This is Xmark's new Vertex X series with a Kawasaki 38 and a half horsepower EFI engine on it, bigger hydros, 12 mile per hour versus I think eight and a half. This thing is an absolute beast. Got a new deck on it. It's got a wider platform here in the back, bigger tires. We are ready to use this thing. Let's get into it. I actually used this mower at Xmark last year. Um, they had like a little event. Um, we went down there, toured the factory, and got to ride on this machine. And I was grinning ear to ear. I, I don't know if you saw that video. Um, there's some changes to it. I'll go over those a little bit and uh, show you this machine. I'm super pumped about it. The mower will never look this clean again. So the Vertex X Series has the Ultra Cut Series 6 deck. This particular model has the FX1000 Kawasaki EFI 38 and a half horsepower. So just going around the mower here, starting with the rear tires, bigger tires, a bigger platform here in the back. You can also see it has these, I don't even know what you'd call them. The, the plate wraps around here. So if you're on hills, there's a place to put your foot when you're leaning, trying to stay upright on a hill. It's got bigger hydros, 12 mile per hour versus I think eight and a half with the S series Vertex. Um, the one that we got last year, the 52 inch. 38 and a half horsepower EFI. That's the Kawasaki FX1000V. So this thing's like a, like a zooped up version of the S series. Okay, it's, it's wider, it's got dual tanks. Both of them I think are seven each. So you have a 14 gallon fuel capacity. So basically double what you have on the other Vertex. Look at this thing. That's some cool branding right there. So new deck, bigger tires, bigger hydros, bigger engine, more fuel capacity, a bigger platform. And when I used it, I thought it was way more comfortable um, than other models. I think they put more cushions or springs or something to make it more comfortable. Let's see from here. Oh, you even have a little uh, place to plug in your phone if you want. Let me try to get a... Sorry, the sun. The sun is something today. Little place to plug in your phone there if you want. This is their electronic throttle. So there's not a throttle cable. Some people call it the fly-by-wire system. You can actually engage the blades at any throttle. You're not gonna hurt the engine. The computer will actually do everything for you. So you don't have to worry about busting your mower engaging or disengaging the blades at any RPM, basically. Um, you can go through, I mean, you can just tell this is a bigger, beefier machine um, than anything. I noticed like even all the cables here are wrapped. Uh, I'm, I'm probably from heat from the bigger engine. It's just an absolute tank. And I can tell you with that new deck on there, this thing cut amazing, amazing. And when we tested it, it wasn't like it was a perfectly manicured lawn. It was an irrigated, fertilized field that they have at their headquarters, at their testing facility, I guess. And it wasn't cut. The yard was pretty tall, like, like what you would be cutting weekly mowing or maybe even bi-weekly. And uh, I mean, this thing gave an absolute beautiful cut. So I'm super excited, Dr Drew and Matt, are uh they just text me they're like hey we're cutting one more yard we're on our way to come pick up the new mower and they're gonna have it on lawns today they're super pumped about it and uh, i just want to see how it cuts how it stripes because the thing's a tank also new that they put in this you can buy a jack you can keep it in your trailer hook it up and then jack it up right on site uh, to change the blades or blow them out or clean the deck. It also comes with a little trash can. I don't know. Oh yeah, you just do that. 
So you can throw your trash in there, take that, dump it, and then it just somehow, one-handed, I'm gonna put it back when I have two hands. I'm holding the camera. But, uh, man, super impressed with this machine. This is really cool. If you get a 60, um, you can actually get the Tractus tires on the Vertex, which we just don't need a 60. I, I'm sticking with the 52 inch. Um, I just, I don't think 60s are, are what we need for our properties. Um, but I really want the Tractus tires. I think they're an amazing invention. So just something to think about if you guys are like, oh, we could use 60s. If they fit for your properties, I would definitely get the 60 and buy the Tractus tires. You don't have to worry about flat tires at all. So um, I also asked Greg from Xmark. He he delivered, super awesome dude. Um, I was like, what about maintenance? What about greasing, things like that? So basically there's four annual grease points. The two front casters, the tensioner pulley, for the the belt and then maybe maybe the height adjustment i forget the last one uh one other thing here that's kind of unique about this engine let me flip the screen around here these are magnetic and they also are, are attached but you can actually blow out the fins let me try to get you let me try to get you in there a little bit so you can see one second see you can actually blow out the fins in there. Um, that way grass and stuff isn't, you know, building up, building heat. And now you have no excuse to not blow them out because there's two ports on both sides that make it super easy to blow them out. Then it just magnetizes back on there, which is pretty neat. So that is it, the Vertex X series from Xmark. Now, I'm gonna turn off my little uh, YouTuber voice for a second. Um, I'm just a person, okay? I'm just a guy that runs a lawn care company. And uh, we go through the same struggles that everybody else does. We get client clients calling us, doing crazy things. We still have billing issues, right? People not paying us and uh, whatever, right? All the crap you go through, flat tires, trailer problems, freaking axles falling off the dang trailer. I had my, my main trailer down for four months, cost me a couple grand to get fixed, to get a new axle. We go through all the crap, okay? I say all that to say this. I never take any of this for granted, okay? I never take People watching my videos, people commenting, liking, um, companies working with us to let us use machines like this um, to make videos, which is what I love doing, making yards look good, and getting you guys information about new mowers, um, things we like, things we don't like about machines. Um, it's cool. That's all I wanted to say. I, 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 again, I want people to make smart financial decisions. I want people to get equipment that is correct. You know, I, even if this mower is beautiful, right? I'm still gonna tell you, you need to make sure you have a good dealer in your area that's gonna be able to get you parts and service and warranty work and things like that in your area. And so, I, I, dude, I just want you guys to win. That's all I want. I want to. I want to be successful. I want you to be successful. Um, and yeah, I want X Mark to be successful. Whatever, whatever all that means. But I, I'm never gonna try to sell you on a mower. I'm never gonna try to grab a quick buck to try to sell you a fifteen thousand dollar machine, right? I want you to have the information. I want to tell you about these mowers. Show you them working, them striping, their cut quality. And uh, if you have a dealer in your area and you're like looking for a new machine and you say, hey, that's a good machine, Blake likes it, maybe I should get a demo, okay? 
maybe I should check it out. And then if you like it, you like the dealer, and you go out and buy one of these machines, and it helps you make money, pay your employees, and bring home money from your business to your family, that is success. That is success to me as somebody that has made content for 10 years. I feel like I know my place now. And my place is to take these opportunities that I get to, to implement these machines into my business, tell you about them, make money, right, with them. When it's out on properties making, cutting grass, right? That That's it. So I, I just wanted to, I don't want all these new mowers, okay? And everything you see us doing, traveling, going to events, don't don't get lost in like, uh, what do they call that? Like, it's not jealousy, but like, man, look at, look at Blake or look at Brian's lawn maintenance, right? And I got this old rusty mower. Dude, just keep going. Keep going. Don't, don't get lost in the highlight reel of social media. This is a high right, this is a highlight reel with a little bit of reality because I don't ever want, I want people to get inspired. I don't want you to get uninspired, okay? It's like when Tigran got his green Lamborghini, I've always wanted a Lamborghini. And I almost got demotivated because I don't have a Lamborghini and in no future do I see myself being able to buy a Lamborghini, right? So that's like a highlight reel. It's unmotivating. It's like, dude, I'm not buying a Lamborghini. I'm having a third kid. I'm not getting a Lamborghini. But when you realize that that's just his chapter in life, he's got the Lamborghini and I'm happy for the guy. This is my chapter in life where I get to try out new machines and make videos for you guys. And I'm happy with that. So whatever chapter in life you are at, you got to learn to enjoy it, to get after it. Drew is here. Matt is here. To pick up the new mower. Yeah. Pump, dude. Look at this beast. And um, that's what we got. So that's my motivation of the day. I'm super pumped about the mower. I'm super pumped about everything going on. And I want you guys to be inspired and educated when you guys go out looking for new equipment. That's where we're at. So have a fantastic rest of your day. I appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.